Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I want to show you a little experiment that I did. Basically, I love Lyrica Matoshi, the designer. I did a video on her sequin socks and I will link that below. Um, but the one iconic piece that everyone knows her for is the strawberry dress. And you've probably seen lots of people wearing it on Instagram. Um, it's just such a fun, it's pink, it's got glitter strawberries on it, it's like big and poofy. So um, I originally wanted to get that dress and I thought, I don't know, it's like $550 and again, it's a big pink poofy thing and it's like, okay, how often am I going to wear this if I get it? Anyway, I just kind of put it out of my mind. So um, then a few months later... I saw an advertisement for what looked like that exact same strawberry dress. Now the original one is 500 something. I'll have to look and see exactly how much. Um, but then I saw one online, this one they were advertising was like $55. And I was like, what, how can that be? So I looked into it, looked at the website. Um, it showed pictures from Lyrica Matoshi's website, uh, but the dress was coming from China. And I just thought, I was like fascinated. I was like, okay, what is going on here? How can a company just literally straight up steal the photos of a designer and put them on their website? And what would the strawberry dress look like if I bought it? So I did <laughs> and maybe three, four, five weeks later, um, this plastic package came from China and it looked nothing like the pictures. It looks nothing like the Lyrica Matoshi dress. Um, yes, it has strawberries on it. <laughs> But that's pretty much where the similarities end. I mean, they did kind of try to copy the style. Um, to be honest, like I'm a designer, a jewelry designer. And if someone, you know, I work really hard on creating my designs and I hand make all my pieces. And if someone just straight up stole my pictures, put them on their website and tried to sell my jewelry for, you know, like one tenth of the price that I'm charging, um, that would be really, really frustrating. So anyway, um, I got the dress and then I also, after I got the dress, went ahead and bought the actual original Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress. Um, and I thought it would be really interesting to compare the two. So that's what today's video is about. So if you're interested, um, I thought I would show you both of them. I thought I would try them both on and then just give you my thoughts um, about how they compare. <laughs> okay guys, here it is. The real life Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress. It is so fun and flowy and girly. And um, I don't know if you can see how beautifully these strawberries sparkle, but it is really, really a neat dress. And then I, of course, I had to do a little styling of my own. Look how good it looks with my new Gucci belt. And, um, if you want to see more Gucci belt ideas, I did a whole video on that. So I will link that down below. But yeah, oh my God, it's just such a fun, 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 fun dress. Uh, one thing, the um, front is pretty open and I don't know if it's possible to have that fixed, <laughs> uh, like tailored or, um, what but um I don't know might be might be a little bit of a challenge if you are busty okay so here is the non-authentic inauthentic Lyrica Matoshi 
strawberry dress and hopefully you can see from the video that it is not even close. I mean, yes, it's a dress that has strawberries on it, but it reminds me of a nightgown that my grandma would have worn like in the 80s. <laughs> so um, there's no comparison. Um, I, I mean, I don't know, like if they weren't trying to sell it as the other dress, it, like, I don't know, it'd be okay as like a nightgown, I think. Um, but yeah, there's no glitter, no embroidery, no sequins. Uh, it looks nothing like the pictures that they showed. Okay, so I wanted to do like a side-by-side -side comparison just so you could see how they look um, next to each other. So the first one is the actual authentic Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress. And you can see the strawberries are super sparkly and glittery. And um, the inside is just really well made. Um, there's the tag. And then you put that next to this guy, which looks like my grandma's nightgown. So, I mean, there's, just, I just, I don't know how someone could see the picture of this dress and be okay with getting this dress in the mail. They are two totally different dresses. Um, anyway, I thought that was a fun experiment. I interestingly um, reached out to the company that I got this from and I told them, uh, I said, you know, I got the dress. It doesn't look anything like the pictures. Um, there are no sequins. There's no glitter, nothing. And they wrote back and said, oh, well, we'll give you half your money back. So when I read that, I thought, mm, this is probably something uh, that they're expecting to happen because <laughs> the dress doesn't look anything like the pictures. So that's my experiment. Um, obviously, what I got from this experiment is that you get what you pay for. <laughs> Um, you can't buy a $550 dress for $55 and expect it to be anything like the original. So, um, yeah, I think this strawberry dress is absolutely beautiful. The original one. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so that gets a big giant thumbs up from me and, um, I don't know what to say about people using photos. It's just, I don't know. It's just shady. So <laughs> that's what I got to say about that. But anyway, um, the strawberry dress is gorgeous. The Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress, dress is gorgeous. So um, if you're thinking about getting it, I would absolutely recommend it. Just a few things. It's long. So I'm 5'4". Um, and the... Um, front part, the bust part is very open. Anyway, those are just two little things that I observed. Um, yeah, other than that, yeah, it's gorgeous. And um, I don't know, what do you think? Should I do some more of these type videos where I buy like a real thing and a fake thing and compare them? Um, I thought it was really interesting. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you do too. <laughs> Okay guys, well thanks for joining me again. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week.